Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. As usual, we go straight to the point. The subject is brave me, made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic is about pelvic organ prolapse, uterine prolapse, vaginal prolapse, and POPQ system. In this presentation, we will successfully address the pelvic diaphragma anatomy, uterine prolapse, type, cause, risk, and factor, symptom, degree, and staging, vaginal prolapse, type, cause, symptom, cystocell, rectocell, enterocell, the diagnosis, valsava, valsava pelvic exam, medical management, kegel exercise, pelvic floor relaxation, estrogen replacement, surgical treatment of pelvic organ, vaginal hysterectomy, anterior corporography, posterior corporography, and sacrohysteropexy. POPQ system, Prolapse quantification, classification. Let's start. Anterior triangle is penetrated by the urethra, urinary tract and the vagina reproductive tract. On the other hand, the posterior triangle is penetrated by the anus gastrointestinal tract. Three organ system in the pelvis, urinary, reproductive, and GI tract. Etiology. There is a general agreement. It is probably common related to the childbirth, but there are genetic factors particip participating. Trauma of childbirth and mechanical distension. When you push a nine pound baby to the pelvic floor, injury can show up a year later. A predisposing, predisposing factor like a aging, estrogen deficiency, pregnancy associated trauma, genetic predisposition, chronically increased intra-abdominal pressure. Let's start with uterine prolapse. The usual right angle of 90 degrees between uterus and vagina. This is a normal healthy relationship. As you start to get descended or lack of support, the uterus starts moving down and down and down until it is outside of the body. Early first degree, second degree, and procedencia, almost outside of the body. Stage, stage zero, no prolapse, 90 degree. Stage one, the most distal prolapse is over one centimeter proximal to the even. Stage two, the most distal prolapse is less than one centimeter proximal to the even. Stage three, the most distal prolapse is less than one centimeter beyond the even, but protrudes no further than two centimeters. Stage four, complete vaginal eversion. Zero, no prolapse, 90 degree. Stage one, the most distal prolapse is over one centimeter proximal to the hymen. Stage two, the most distal prolapse is less than one centimeter proximal to the hymen. Stage three, 
the most distal prolapse is under one centimeter beyond the hymen, but protrudes no further than two centimeters. Stage four, complete vaginal eversion. Uterus didn't reach yet the hymen. Uterus is the level of the hymen. Procedentia, uterus outside of the hymen. Uterus is hanging outside of the body. Let's move to vaginal prolapse. Vaginal prolapse. Is it a life threatening? No, it's a quality of life. If the anterior vaginal wall, which is involved, cystocele within this prolapse is the bladder most prevalent. Posterior vaginal wall, rectocele, second most common. If there is a prolapse of pooch of the glass, anterocele, small ball, less common. Vaginal prolapse, a normal situation with 90 degrees of the uterus with the vagina. If the anterior vaginal wall, which is involved, anterior vaginal wall is involved, is cystocell within the prolapse, is the bladder most prevalent. Posterior vaginal wall, rectal cell, second most common. If there is a prolapse of pooch of Douglas, anterocell, small bowel, less common. Anterior wall, cystocell. Posterior vaginal wall, rectal cell, second most common. Patient cannot empty all the stool out without helping by finger and pushing the stool out. This is the digital splitting. Between the posterior wall of the uterus and the rectum, there is a prolapse of pooch of Douglas. Small bowel gets there. This is the perineum coming out. How to make the diagnosis? Pelvic exam. Have the patient in valsava increase abdominal pressure, then look for prolapse. Normal bladder, cystocele. Management. There is a pelvic relaxation. Medical management include Kegel exercise, estrogen re replacement, and vaginal PCR. Kegel exercise are voluntary contraction of the pelvis muscle to strengthen tau, may be, may be helpful in a mild relaxation. Estrogen replacement therapy can reverse atrophy, change, and improve tissue tissue in postmenopause women. Pessary, which are mechanical devices placed in the vagina, place the pelvic structure in a more normal position artificially. The therapy is temporary treatment for no chirurgical candidate. Pelvic floor electric stimulation can improve pelvic floor muscle strength. Pubo coccygian muscle. The aim of Kegel ex exercise is to improve muscle tone by strengthening the pubo coccygian muscle of the pelvic floor. Kegel exercise. Sitting comfortably. Kegel exercise. Provide support to pelvic organ, improve sex health, control urinary incontinence, facilitate normal vaginal delivery, prevent prostate problem, and help with menopause. 
Muscle of pelvic diaphragm can weak. Use pelvic floor exercise code. Different weight depending on how strong muscle are. Progressive weight. Keep the cone from falling out. The same procedure for holding a urinary stream for coming out. Pelvic floor electric stimulation can improve pelvic floor muscle strength. Vaginal pisseries, device placed in the vagina. There are different size, different shape. Known as gel horn pissery donut. Surgical management. If there is prolapse of the uterus, we do vaginal hysterectomy. You have good access to the, with the uterus because it is already prolapsed down. Colporaphy, also known as vaginal wall repair, anterior and posterior colporaphy, anterior or posterior vaginal wall repair. It is a procedure that repairs a defect in the wall of the vagina. It is the chirurgical intervention for both cystocell, protrusion of the urinary bladder into the vagina, and rectocell, protrusion of the rectum into the vagina. Let's review. Notice the orientation of the uterus and its good suspended. Anterior vaginal wall prolapse and urethra cysto cell. If it is about the posterior vaginal wall, it's a rectal cell. It's, if it is about the pooch of the glass, it's about anterior cell. If the patient has medical complication, we do PCR, chronic obstruction of obstructive pulmonary disease, artery disease, not a good surgical candidate, you can use PCR to hold uterus back in its normal position. Or you can suspend the uterus with a sacro hystero Pixie using mesh to repair a prolonged of the wall. You hold uterus up by suturing to the sacrum. If the uterus is removed previously and you have vaginal vault prolapse, you can suspend vagina to the sacrum using sacro colpopexy. POPQ system. The pelvic organ prolapse quantification system is a system for assessing the degree of prolapse of pelvic organ to help standardize diagnosing, comparing, documenting, and sharing of clinic findings. When assessed using the POQ, the POPQ, the prevalence of pelvic organ prolapse is estimated to be up to 50%, while diagnosed by symptom has a prevalence of only 3 to 6%. If quantify the descent of pelvic organ into the, it quantify the descent of pelvic organ into the vagina. The POPQ provide Reliable description of the support of the anterior, posterior, and apical vaginal wall. It uses objective and precise distance measurement to the reference point, the hymen. Cystocell and prolapse of the vagina from other cause is staged using POPQ criteria and can range from good support. No descent into the vagina, reported as POQ stage 0 or 1, to a POPQ score of 4, which include prolapse beyond the hymen. 
this is the AA point anterior A. AP is a posterior A. BE is an anterior B. BP is a posterior B. C, cervix or vagina cuff. D is posterior fornix. And uh, PB is perineal body. And TVE is total vaginal length. Anterior point EA, BA, posterior point EP, BP, DH, and PB, peri perineal body, and TVL is total vaginal length. D is for posterior fornix, and C is for cervical or renal cough. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to click the button like and subscribe? Your comments are very welcome. Thank you.